Pixar is one of the most popular animation studios in the entire world, producing classics such as Toy Story, Up, WALL-E, and Cars! Okay, kidding about that last one, but did you know that Pixar was an active company 16 years before Toy Story came out? Today I thought it might be fun to take a look at some of Pixar's early work, before Toy Story came out, and see how these short films affected the formation of the Pixar we know and love today. Before we get into today's topic guys, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. These videos take a long time to make and it would mean the world to me. And hey, why not? It's free. Pixar originally started as a subsidiary of Lucasfilm, originally known simply as Graphics Group, in 1979. So yes, Pixar is another thing you can thank Papa George for. Pixar would mainly spend the first few years of their formation perfecting their animation technology and would not release their first short for several years. In 1984, Pixar released their first short film titled The Adventures of Andre and Wally B. Despite what the lengthy title might have you think, there really isn't much of an adventure here, since the film is just under two minutes long. However, it does give a fascinating look into the beginnings of the company. The story revolves around who I can only assume is Andre, getting chased by a bee who I can only assume is Wally B. Although, I would have to be pretty stupid to assume that this was Andre and this was Wally B. The film is very impressive for being made in 1984, and it's also the only film Pixar released while it was still with Lucasfilm, as well as the only one to not have the Pixar name attached to it. This film serves as a tech demo more than anything else, but the next film would be the origin of all things Pixar. Okay, not really, but it did establish the company mascot. That film would be none other than Luxo Jr., released in 1986. This film is also quite simple, being around two minutes just like the last one, but it's noteworthy for being the first film released by the company under the name Pixar, after they broke away from Lucasfilm. This short also introduces the company mascot, Luxo Jr., the desk lamp. The plot is pretty straightforward. A mother lamp plays with her child, Luxo Jr. We get a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and then we call it a day and move on. The next film, called Red's Dream, released in 1987, is probably the least consequential of this collective. While the adventures of Andre and Wally B served as a proof of concept, and Luxo Jr. established the company's future mascot, this film is more of an in-betweener. The film centers around a red unicycle that has a dream about being in the circus. That's pretty much it. Being four minutes long, this film really isn't about anything. We see more complicated animation this time around with atmospheric lighting and rain, but aside from that, there really isn't much to the plot. It could be argued that this short was an important middle step establishing better animation and Pixar's ability to set a scene, but in the grand scheme of things, it's relatively unimportant. Next up, we have the short Tin Toy, released in 1988 clocking in at a whopping five minutes in length. This film is about the titular Tin Boy, attempting to avoid being played with by his owner. The most terrifying goddamn baby I've ever seen in my life. I mean, Jesus Christ, I don't fucking blame him. Run, little buddy, run! Anyway, the Tin Toy eventually makes it under the bed where he meets a group of other terrified toys, before realizing he actually wants to be played with the monster outside. However, he comes to this realization too late as the baby's already moved on and now would prefer to play with his box instead of him. It's a blessing, not a curse. This very well could have been the company's last short film, as at the time they were in a tricky financial situation. But Pixar took a big gamble and made the film anyway. And it paid off. Big time. Because of this short, Pixar got the attention of Disney and directly inspired the movie Toy Story. Finally, the last film made before Toy Story was Knick Knack in 1989. Once again, not too much to say about this one. It's kind of a Red's Dream 2.0. The film is about a snowman trying to escape out of his snow globe, and some little cute antics ensue, nothing special. The film is only three minutes long and serves as a cute little final to this era of Pixar. Pixar has spent the next six years working on the film Toy Story, and as they say, the rest is history. But does that mean these films should necessarily be forgotten? Well, yes, these films are simple and hell, not even that entertaining, but the technology that Pixar had to develop to make these films also went into creating Toy Story. These films also directly inspired Toy Story and helped Pixar form its image as a company. Simply put, without these short films, Pixar would have gone bankrupt years ago. Yet nowadays, these films are almost completely overlooked. I only discovered they existed because I accidentally stumbled upon them browsing through Pixar's Disney Plus page. So in closing, just remember, without these short films, we wouldn't have this. 
We wouldn't have this, and we wouldn't have this. Oh god, but do we really need the last one?